star of my garden, this red cabbage. Take a look at my peppers. I'm showing you this because in a couple of weeks I'm going to show you how I bring it back to life. Because I will. This is not the first. Hi my friends, welcome to Farming on the Rocks. This is Marie <laughs> and I'm from Kingston, Jamaica. I'm smiling but there's a thing to smile about. I'm about to show you the trials and tribulations of having a garden. This is not to discourage you though, it is to encourage you whenever these things happen. That it is normal and you just have to work on it and bounce back. <laughs> if you thought the bugs did damage to my garden wait until you see what a couple days without watering which was beyond my control you will see what happened to the garden if you don't water it every day especially when you're living on the rocks where it's heat generated and also if you're gardening in containers watering is vital extremely i'm just going to show you what it looks like now because Two weeks time I'm going to show you again and you will be you will see that it's not the end of the world <laughs> but it is a disaster so as I said earlier guys I live on the rocks there might be a lot of shrubs and bush but it's on the rocks so starting here where my lovely kales were I have to say were because these cannot come back that's what they're looking like a week without watering and we got no rain this is my lovely banana pepper it has peppers on it still and these are the suckers that I was depending on to spawn <laughs> oh god I don't know why I'm laughing look at my my colored greens hmm. <laughs> I planted carrots in these and I'm sure those seeds are not going to grow Look how dry the soil is. Look at my basil. This is my absolute beautiful patch with my cabbages and so on. <laughs> I'm sorry. But this is not good. This is bad. This is bad. My time though, this one is looking good. That one I'm going to put some water on it tonight to save it because I struggled. I have some suckers here. They're doing well even though the soil is dry. Look at my corn. Huh. Just look at my jalapeno and my, what is this, um, cayenne pepper. Oh my god, look at my bell peppers. Uh, my god all right and my I think it's safe to say that I'm starting over as of now look at my beetroot this I had already taken out most of them and was allowing to purge take a look at my sweet potato <laughs> I'm going to have to get to work look at my sweet potato Oh dear. Alright. You can't leave your garden when it's container unless you have um proper watering system put in place. I harvested some lovely ginger from here. Look at that. That's not looking bad. The corn. Look at my corn. <laughs> my sweet potato. This is not looking bad to be honest. But I'm sure it's very thirsty. Oh, wow. Here's a lovely bloom. All right. Oh, wow. This is my nasturtium. This is so pretty. All right. But apart from that, yeah. <sighs> All right. The star of my garden, this red cabbage. Take a look at my peppers. 
I'm showing you this because in a couple of weeks I'm going to show you how I bring it back to life because I will this is not the first I just never got a chance to show you when it's this bad and that's due to the fact that I'm on the rock so a day without watering and all the moisture is um, sucked out of my containers with the heat yeah look at my tub with my lovely corns can call it off these um, red color loo they do absolutely fantastic in the dry dry soil my tomatoes I don't know what to say and I saw where this one started to produce those aren't looking so bad I hope I can get some water this hot pepper is not looking bad Take a look at these corns. The aloe vera feeds itself with water. Look at those corns right there. <laughs> oh my days. Oh my days. I planted these beans. They don't look half ah, bad. Something is eating them. I'm not sure what. I wasn't able to tend to my garden for about a week. And this is the result. I have problems big big problems but this can be fixed in a week or two I will replant and I'll come again so yeah just sharing that that um, downside to gardening in containers on the rock won't be for long though I guarantee you Guys, I'm not going to lie to you and say it's a good feeling. <laughs> I'm not going to say it's easy to come back. It will though. <laughs> and as I said, it's the reason I didn't, I, did, I, I had no control over this. So, I'm just going to have to work on it. Me and my husband and my children will work on this and bring it back to life. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support as usual. Thank you for all of you who like and comment. Leave a kind word under my videos. I appreciate all of you. Alright, if you're watching and you've not yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Also, press that notification bell so you will be notified once I post the update. Because I will bring back my garden and I will update you. Alright, like, leave a comment and share with your friends. Alright, bye-bye.